<laughs> yo, 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 planet Earth, soul family, what's up, what's good, all part of the same soul family that spans all possible omniverses, what's good, what's really good, melting away boundaries, melting away boundaries, <laughs> yeah, 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 but then also connecting with your deep soul power and knowing how to set boundaries for yourself as well, paradoxically, because you must know deeply what you deserve and don't deserve, and you must be willing to assert that to those around you, because certain people emanate toxicity and they try to infiltrate your soul boundary, and you need to be the one to assert that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm shirtless right now. Deal with it. Um, <laughs> just felt like, just felt like it was time to send a message, and that message is this: Follow your highest excitement. Do nothing else. Do nothing else. I'm not speaking to your mind right now. I'm not speaking to your ego or your fear or your conditioning or your excuses or your indoctrination or your procrastination. I'm speaking directly to your soul, which is vibrating, emanating, as I'm saying the words, follow your highest excitement, do nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> Let that sink in for a moment. Let that sink in for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Following your highest excitement is one of the fastest paths, it's a kind of accelerator toward breaking out of the matrix in more ways than one. Breaking out of the economic and culturally conditioned matrix of believing that you should sell your time for 10 or $15 an hour or even, even $100 an hour. Who told us, who told us that our precious minutes on this earth had a price tag? It's time to disband this foul notion. It's time to let this go. Hmm. Follow your bliss and the universe will open doors where there were only walls. Joseph Campbell. Nature loves courage. You make the commitment and nature will respond to that commitment by removing impossible obstacles. Dream the impossible dream and nature will not grind you under, it will lift you up. This is how magic is done. This is the shamanic dance under the waterfall. This is the alchemical gold that all the great seers and philosophers touched. You hurl yourself into the abyss only to discover it is a feather bed. Terence McKenna said that. The absolute legend, sage, shaman god, Terence McKenna. Thank you, Terence. Thank you, oh beautiful, non-dogmatic, mystical soul. Thank you, traveler, journeyer of all possible realms and omniverses. You feel it. Maybe your mind and ego and fear and excuses are starting to arise. Some part of you is saying, why am I watching this? This, this guy's crazy. What, what's he talking about? This, this can't be right. This is bullshit. That is your resistance talking. That is your ego. That is your fear. That is your deeply internalized sense that you are not enough and you should keep yourself small and that you deserve to be treated like shit and deserve to live a life like a slave. You don't need to listen to that part of yourself anymore. There is a deeper voice within you that wants to be heard. A deeper resounding voice that says, I am infinitely powerful. Your soul is infinitely powerful. You can do whatever you dream. You can do whatever you like. This world is yours. This world is here for all of us to experience Abundance, joy, love, peace, gratitude, excitement, freedom, strength, power. Not the egoic, 
power of domination and exploitation that has seized the hyper-ego-developed monkey minds for several millennia, but rather a much deeper power. A power emanating from soul over soul, God force, the source of all that is. The source of all that is resides within your very heart. Your very heart. Do not mistake this for dogma. Words can never contain the truth. Do not cling to words. The map can never be the territory. The territory that can be mapped is not the eternal territory. The territory that can be mapped is not the eternal territory. Words are merely fingers pointing at an unsayable moon. What you want is the moon, you don't want the words. If you cling too much to the words, you divide yourselves and you decide that those who cling to different words deserve to die. This is one of the most preposterous and persistent mind viruses afflicting the human race since time immemorial. <clears throat> I hear the jungle outside. I sit perched in a geodesic dome in the jungle of Costa Rica. The jungle noises send me their high-frequency vibrations speaking directly to my soul, calming, aligning, harmonizing. And I feel my power emerging, blossoming, blooming, glowing, growing. And I know who I truly am. I now know who I truly am. I know that I am the one thing that there is, the same thing that you are. The divine nature, essence, the all, the great father, mother, mind at the center of all that is from which all emanates. Infinite power, infinite love, infinite intelligence and creativity and wisdom. <clears throat> this is what you truly are. This is what you truly are. Don't let any motherfucker tell you otherwise. Take the leap. Leap out of your cages. Leap out of the lives that you hate to live, the lives that are crushing your souls. Leap, and God will catch you. The universe will catch you. Doors will, doors will open where you didn't know they were going to be, and the universe will catch you begin to realize that the internet has fundamentally changed everything. We are only at the very beginning of the greatest gold rush planet Earth, Earth has ever seen. The amount of additional value and wealth that will be created on the internet will change the landscape of this planet forever and generate prosperity and abundance the likes of which we could not have conceived for most of our history. There is enough room in the online economy for literally every human being on the planet right now. It's simply a matter of quantum leaping into this new paradigm. Because the old paradigm has its tendrils deep, 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 deep within your nervous system. And so when you think of leaving this paradigm, you feel fear and your mind generates a thousand excuses why it cannot be. The mind is such a crafty, deceitful, excuse-generating machine. Listen to your deeper self. Listen to your intuition. There is a voice deep within you that is connected to the infinite intelligence of all that is. This intelligence is vastly, vastly more powerful than the funny monkey mind which is relatively young by comparison. Not just relatively, the monkey mind is a mere fetus compared to the majestic infinite sequoia of all that is which you can channel directly through your soul intuition heart. <clears throat> Understand this. Hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> Where
wherever you are right now, whatever is happening right now, know, <coughs> know in your soul that it is perfect and it cannot be otherwise. Nothing can ever be wrong. Nothing can ever be wrong. The power that birthed all possible omniverses is a power of infinite love and benevolence. What it has birthed is a divine plan of such infinite majesty that we cannot conceive it. But we can begin to allow its flame to drive us higher and higher along the upward spiraling path toward greater degrees of liberation, joy, love, and peace. Your resistance, your ego, is likely saying things like, This cannot be. This fool, he ignores suffering and torture and war and rape and genocide. No, I do not ignore these things. It may sound impossible, it may sound difficult to believe, but God, which is the only thing that is, the one majestic infinite power of all that is, chooses to forget itself in infinite ways so that it may experience the divine joy of remembering who it truly is. It locks itself in infinite cages, infinite cages of suffering, such that it may learn the lessons that suffering has to teach, the textures and wisdom that suffering imbues, and that it may then one day in the form of your soul melt away all cages you are destined to melt away all cages you inevitably will melt away all cages and you will remember who you truly are and when you remember this when you remember this and you experience the divine joy of seeing how every single step of your entire existence was leading up to this remembrance and this melting into the divine God essence, frequency, wavelength, nectar, Christ love, Buddha love. You will see that it was all worth it. <laughs> it was more than worth it. It was the greatest gift you could possibly receive. It will be as if you're waking up from, from a legendary, legendary dream and you will feel the glory of all that is resonating in your deep cellular matter. <clears throat> Thank you for being exactly where you are in this moment and every other moment. This moment and every other moment is perfect and you are exactly where you need to be doing exactly what you need to do and it cannot be otherwise. It cannot be otherwise. So thank you. Thank you so much. Listen deeply to yourself. Be what you are. Become what you are. Follow your highest excitement and let go of attachment to outcome. This is the fast track to realizing your wildest dreams your wildest dreams your wildest dreams and as the divine plan is so utterly perfect that which makes you come alive that which is your highest excitement is the most perfect precious sacred thing you can possibly be doing in any moment to help the earth and everyone around you to heal the earth and everyone around you. Do that which makes you come alive and you will become a beacon, lantern, wildfire, inferno emanating positive love, joy, healing energy to all around you. Yes, it is so. <laughs> and like, look, look, look. I realize, I realize this shit may sound hella crazy. If you'd shown me this video like 10 years ago, I'd be like, what in the actual fuck happened? Apparently I went bonkers and lost my marbles. <laughs> so I get it. I get it. Yeah. 
But I can tell you that what I feel at the moment, what I feel is that beyond the matrix of duality and the world of good and bad and right and wrong, there is another place. There is another place constituted of the highest love that has no opposite, the highest good that has no opposite. A meadow, a sparkling meadow, the likes of which you simply cannot fathom. And I too cannot fathom it, because this human vessel has certain physiological limitations on the extent to which we can fathom the true glory and grandeur of God, all, Tao, Source, Essence. If the volume knob of God's frequency continued to be turned up, I would simply melt into the ether or burst into flames. And yet in this divine human vessel, we can taste frequencies the likes of which most of you have scarcely allowed yourselves to dream and imagine. And when you begin to relinquish the smallness and the blockages and the fear and the anger, self-hatred, ego, that is blocking you from these higher frequencies, you will begin to taste them. And it will taste like the most sublime rainbow nectar you could possibly, possibly fathom. It will feel like the greatest gift that you simply could have never, ever, in a million years, hoped to attain. And you will bow down, fall to your hands and knees, sobbing with thankfulness to the Creator for her, His, Divine Majesty, the Great God, Goddess, All, Essence, Source, Emanating, the Center of All That Is, the Infinite Wellspring, the Most High, all glory due at all times to the Most High. Thank you is the most basic prayer. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Infinite gratitude for the multidimensional love and light that is destined to dispel all falseness and darkness. Thank you. <sighs> <laughs> 17 minutes in earth time is the length of that transmission I think I'll end with a poem Truth be told, I feel God's grace. I'm looking at this earth like it's a hella sacred place. I've been around the world cause man that novelty feels great. No organized religion, I see heaven in her face. Non-dogmatic mystic sipping vino out in Spain. I got night owl rhythm known to stay up hella late. Yeah, I got the vision baby so you know just trust in me. Aligned with flow so now I'm never feeling rusty. Uh, I see you scared and trying to fit in, but just stand out. Be a weirdo, man. Uh, let yourself expand now. Normal people don't exist. We all have loud souls that want to glow, so just love it and do not hate it. I'm so unaffiliated. Uh, sipping ayahuasca and probably smoking the dankest. Speculating me landing, must have got me mistaken. I'm speaking as a Jedi Master Main. Let that love melt all the pain. <clears throat> Let the love that has no opposite, the divine, most high, highest love that has no opposite, enter your heart and melt away all the pain, shadow, falseness. Let it banish these things. This process will not be easy. It will be the most difficult thing you've ever done. It will be the undoing of all your conditioning, all your indoctrination, everything you've ever known. You will unlearn everything you've ever known and start over from ground zero. This is what you will do to rediscover your true essence, your true essence as one with the most high, divine, sublime, sacred, essential source. 
I bow to you. I bow to you a deep bow of honor and gratitude. And I say to you, Namaste. Namaste, the divine in me recognizes and sees and loves the divine in you, in you. I love you, my friends. All is well. I love you. <laughs>